thing, we're going to do the solstice song. There's a lot of things I can do to help. I love you, Santa. This is the solstice. today for National Internet for National Day of the Homeless uh, Remembrance. We have three, uh, we have the clergy gathered round from various faith communities and we also have uh, representatives of the, free, the three nonprofits who support our homeless in our community. Uh, we're, we're going to ask them each to just say a little bit about the work they're doing to keep the fires lit. Uh, for the homeless in our community. And the first would be Lucy Fortier, the Executive Director of the Brattleboro Area Drop-In Center. Well, we run the overflow shelter, which a lot of you participate, whether you're volunteering, you're cooking meals and serving meals, and we are very grateful. And even our homeless are very grateful. They know that they have to follow the rules, otherwise we could be out of a place to shelter them. So they are very, they really patrol themselves and police themselves very nicely for following the rules. And I am very grateful because it makes my job a whole lot easier. And thank you for all of your support. 
Uh, Libby, you want to go next since you're standing right here? So this is Libby Bennett from Morningside Shelter. Hi, I just want to thank the community for the incredible outpouring of support that we've had this holiday season. Um, we've really been very fortunate with a lot of donations of food and clothing, um, blankets and, and cash donations as well. So we're really quite thankful for the support for the work that we do. Um, we're a 29 bed shelter here in Brattleboro. Um, in the month of November, we served 29 people, half of those were children. So we're really very thankful for having the community's support to keep our doors open. Thank you. And Tom Apple from Home at Last, which supports our veterans. The uh, Home at Last organization is dedicated to housing uh, veterans who uh, have fallen on bad times. We have permanent housing for them in mobile homes. Four or five years ago, a group of Brattleboro citizens raised some money. Today, we have five homes and we're ready to buy a sixth one. Uh, it comes with a partnership with the VA and uh, hopefully this will give a, a chance for a veteran to uh, get out of a bad situation and focus on more important things. Real briefly, I'd like to share a couple of paragraphs with you we got from our our latest uh, tenant. Dear Board of Directors, thank you for allowing me to live in one of your homes. You're getting me out of my car and having a stable home is a big step in having a normal life. I am proud to have my own home with a yard to take care of and maintain. It makes me feel better about myself and how people judge me. It is motivating. Sleeping in a bed instead of a sedan feels good. It's a very nice looking home, clean, bright, and in very good shape one of the best looking homes here. What your organization has done for veterans is highly commendable. Well, we have been holding this here uh, at the corner of Main Street in recognition of the fact that the overflow shelter uh, allows people to come off the streets, out of their cars, out of the woods, down off of the river to a shelter where they can stay warm and so to symbolize that fact and to honor the shelter and to thank the First Baptist Church for hosting, I would invite you now to walk in silence with your candles lit to the shelter where we'll be nice and warm and we can complete uh, the vigil program. Thank you so much. I'd also like to thank Pastor Sue. Oh, thank you. And you know what? I've been giving out these all day. What are they? Check it out. Ooh, what? Oh my goodness. Wow. No, 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 the they're not boots. What are they? The oh, oh, that's awesome. They're okay. Everything that everybody, Washcloth. that all the holy, holy Bibles. that all holy the homeless holy. need. <laughs> <laughs> I've been giving them all, all afternoon. Oh, God bless you. These, oh. these people give me these this every year. They don't want to bring them to, well, sorry, but they don't want to bring them to the drop-in because they know that uh, they won't get to where they're needed. They give them to me every single year. You know what and you are? One of God's angels on this earth. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Okay. They give them to me every God year. God bless you. They won't give them to, um, they won't give them to the drop-in. They won't give them to anywhere else to give them to me because they know they'll go where they're needed most. Good job. Good job. Hallelujah. God bless each and every one. Amen. I'm Pastor Sue from First Baptist Church, and it has been an honor and a privilege to to house our homeless. Um, it's just been amazing how how wonderful these folks are, how they teach me, have taught me, how caring they are. They grab a shovel and they'll shovel the snow out of the way, and, and they're just amazing people. So it's for the last seven years, it has just been wonderful. So thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye. I love candles. It doesn't matter if it's raining outside or snowing. When dark settles, as it does this time of year, the light of just one single candle is like a blessing. It is the darkest night of the year. It is. The sun is about to go down it, it went. 421 today, and I believe it's 
about 421. What's your choice? Depending on your watch. <laughs> it's 421. So I have the honor of speaking the blessing for our overflow shelter. I do that not as a single person. What a great honor it is. But we have on the drop-in center staff, First Baptist Church, the Brattleboro Area Interfaith Clergy Association, and all the volunteers who help us with the ministry of this overflow shelter and providing meals every evening. There are more than 30 teams who prepare meals and probably close to 500 volunteers. God bless who, us, everyone. Yes, who staff the shelter yes, and prepare meals. So, I want to begin the blessing by offering these words from Genesis, the book of Genesis. I think they're particularly fitting. Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. How awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. By our presence here, we bless this shelter, this place, home to so many through these winter months. And we have used this particular blessing, a Judeo-Christian blessing in years past. And if you remember the words, please join me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And finally, the blessing I speak on Sunday mornings. You are blessed by the love we share and by the greater love that embraces all. Blessed be and blessed be all of you in this house of God. Thank you. Here's me. Do little people know that Genesis is the first book of Christ? It's the first book of the Bible. The first book of the Bible. Indeed yes. it is. So we now have a song uh, which we've sung before also, and it's very auspicious because it's called Light One Candle. Yes. If you could share the papers, we are a little Even if you weren't at the rehearsal, you're invited to look on and sing. Light one candle, light one candle, light one candle, light one flame, light one candle, light one candle, light one candle, light one candle on a long winter's night. In a world full of darkness, in a world full of pain, Yeah. 
takes one little candle to turn darkness to light, like the promise of the dawn on a long winter's night. Light one candle, light one candle, light one candle, light one flame, light one candle. to be able to open our doors to to help people um, and it's it's just been amazing hasn't it what a community effort this has become many of you here may have volunteered or or baked or cooked for the dinners I'd like to share with you just a few stories that um, I had some of our homeless write uh, to me just a few of them dear pastor Sue please accept my apologies for being homeless that's huge I had a life, and I fell into disarray. My mom was a fifth grade school teacher. My brother Mike retired as a general, USA. My sister is a curator for the Clark Art Institute in Williamstown, Mass. My brother David is retired USA advocate. My dad, God rest him, was a design engineer after serving on D-Day, Normandy. He had two purple hearts and a bronze for bravery. I know that person. I know you do, but I'm not going to mention any names. <laughs> I know. Dear Pastor, we would like to have the overflow shelter open longer. Where's Lucy? I'm right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right here. okay. We'd like to have it open longer. You've done a very good job so far, and as far as I know, the men and women are good ones. We have all been down, but not out. Bless you. And oh, I don't know who told that one. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Well, well actually, now. I could probably say their names because they gave me permission. My name is Evan Plunkett. I began staying at the overflow shelter after a fire destroyed my apartment. I think we know what fire he's talking about. Well, that and would be December, uh, April of 2011. All my belongings at my old residence on Main Street. The overflow has been a godsend, and I'm truly appreciative. I am a college graduate of the University of Miami, but have fallen on hard times as I got laid off and have not been able to get employment. If it were not for the overflow, I would have absolutely nowhere else to go. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who has made the overflow available to us. Just one more. I became homeless when I could no longer pay the rent on my apartment, which increased 33%. At the time, I was working only part-time. I, at 55-plus, he wrote, still cannot find work, steady employment. I wouldn't give anything for it, but I'd sure give everything for the opportunity. And there are more. And these folks are just, they teach me to be a good pastor. They really do. Hi, Judith. Um, and can I um, can I just say something? Sure. Is there anyone here who's homeless that needs anything? Because I have a box here that was given to me. Did, m many of these were given to me, um, you know, to give to the homeless. And if anybody needs this, there's socks, waters, there's. Basically, a little bit of everything that you might need, toothpaste, toothbrushes, 
Does anyone need this? Well, after this is over, why don't we, we can okay. ask, and that would be great. Thank you for and bringing that. I might add that many people here today brought, okay. no brought blankets, oh, brought boots, brought jackets, yeah, and uh, one woman made 15 red scarves thinking that they might like a little Christmas cheer. So, a nice warm so, hug. So we are more than those gathered here today. Yeah. The most wonderful thing about being the... The, the building that houses the homeless, and, and but I want to say, Lucy is she's the hero here. Lucy, come here, but really, you are the hero. She she works. Oh, there goes her hat. But she is she is our hero. She gives untirelessly of her time. She's always there when someone needs her, um, and I just love you dearly. <laughs> so. I'd like to thank all of you for coming out tonight for this vigil. It's so important, and I'd like to offer a, a prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to reach out to those who are less fortunate than we are. It is the reason for the season. It's about giving. It's about caring. It's about pushing yourself sometimes to the limit to help someone else in need. Jesus taught us to love one another. He taught us, he said to us, that when you reach out to the least of these, we are reaching out to him, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I ask your blessing upon everyone gathered here. I ask your blessing and your care for all of the homeless, not just in Brattleboro, but all of the shelters all around the world. Heavenly Father, I humbly thank you for being in our lives. We thank you for faith. We thank you for hope. We thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Jesus is the reason for the season. <laughs> Kate's still here? Yes. I wonder if you would... We did that prayer in English, but I wonder if you would give us a... Do you, a, he, a Hebrew version of the same thing or something else that moves you to lift up the interfaith aspect of this? So this is the same, may the Lord lift up his face, which we know as the priestly blessing. Let me go.